uh, I'm sorry I haven't made a detecting video for long enough, but as many of you know, the weather in the UK lately has been atrocious. Very wet, and very windy. And although I have been out a few times, uh, it would make for an absolutely horrible video. There'd be wind noise, I would have to have it handheld, it would be atrocious. So I did without filming for quite a lot of the short hunts that I've been on. But in this video, I'm actually going to go to a local park. It's been a good while since I've been to a park, so in view of the fact that I bought this about six to eight months ago, you can see it's never had any use. I thought I would give it some use because when I'm in pasture, something like this is no good at all. Just farting on, digging a hole with this in pasture, going deep is no good at all. So I'm going to go in a park, I'm going to look for shallow targets. I'm hoping I'm going to find a ring, but I think I might just be finding ring pulls. Today I'll be using the Deus. I don't want to use the E-Track because I, at the minute I've got an 18 inch coil on the E-Track. In a park, that would be a nightmare. I have used it in parks before and I've got right down and I've found George and stuff. But I don't want to fanny on taking the coil off and swapping it for a smaller coil when I've got a good machine here that's very responsive and already has a 9 inch coil. So this is what I'm going to be using today, coupled with the Garrett Edge digging tool. And because I've got this today, I may as well give you my thoughts about it at the end. Well, I've arrived, and uh, before I get started, I just it's worth pointing out that the level of rubbish or trash, or if you're Irish, shite, that's lying around in this park is just somewhere between excessive and extreme. It's a really very trashy site. That's why I'm glad I've got the small coil and a very responsive detector. Hopefully the wind noise won't knack this up, but I've literally just stepped out of the van and got a 91 to 90 signal both ways I've pinpointed so I'm gonna give it a dig using this fella cut a nice little plug out of there That was very accurate, right in the middle, and that's a penny. Seemed to cut that nice and easy. I had nothing to do with this fella being dead. Now that was a nice clean dig for this little draw handle. I think it's a draw handle anyway. You know, just about get my fist in. And once that's covered in, I think that's going to be pretty neat. Stamp on that, sweet as a nut. I don't even need a detector for that one. There's a pound coin just lying on the top there. Another signal and another really tiny neat hole for a ring pull. This one's reading 8687. And that's normally a pound coin. Except in this case where it's a bottle top. Another ring pull, but that was a hell of a lot easier to dig in the sandy soil. This one's reading as a very noisy 89 to 90. Feel something solid under there, probably just the end of a can or something. Nah, bottle top. Good strong signal here, reading 89 to 90. This thing's got a nice strong handle. I need to go a little bit deeper so, you know, I'm not in any danger of snapping it. That was a deep penny. This one's reading 60 but it was mega, mega loud. I know, that's a strange one. It's a very worn 20 pence. And that doesn't look like a real coin at all, that. 
This one's reading 49 to 50. And that's a modern five pence. This one's reading 75 to 80. Slightly out when I was pinpointing that one. Another bloody bottle top. This one was reading quite a solid 88. And it's another penny. This one was reading 63. And that's what the 20 pences normally look like when they've been buried a while. So that first one was very strange indeed. Another pund coin. Yet another little penny. Well this is like a modern day hoard. I've just had these four two pences from around here. I was just finding them with the uh, Pro Pointer after I had a load of signals with the Deus. There's another signal there. There's a penny. There's another pound coin. Ah, modern ten pence. I thought it was a silver for a minute. I was reading far too low to be silver, but I always live in hope. Yeah, another pound coin right on the top. Something in there was giving a good signal. <laughs> Bottle top. In between dodging the dog turds and other crap that's lying around, I did manage to find enough coins to feed the family tonight, but there was a hell of a lot of trash to. That's a small sample of the stuff that I've been digging in here. Bottle tops, squashed bits of foil, ring pulls, all sorts of crap. That's some of the coins. Mixture of all sorts, one pence, five pence, twenty pences, I haven't found a fifty pence, I think that's the only denomination that I haven't found, but I've got about three hundred yards to walk back to the van, so you never know, I might find it. There's maybe twenty coins there, and I've been here maybe an hour and a half, plenty of them are pound coins, which is great. So the Garrett Edge Digger worked very well indeed, I did have two deep digs where there was a little bit of lead that sort of depth and my wrist nearly fell off trying to dig that out but for shallow targets it was very good indeed it was helped by the Deus this is an extremely accurate machine and it does help having the small coil in the very very trashy areas half the time I was able to pinpoint without using the pinpoint function on here I never stuck the digging tool into any coin so none of them were damaged so if any of them had been gold or any of them had been jewellery they would have been fine. So because I haven't used the Deus very much in parks, this was quite an extended test in difficult conditions to see what it was like and it passed with flying colours. The Garrett Edge Digger also worked very well. Um, it's nice and strong, you can lever the soil out and it's small enough to leave a tiny little hole. The one area it does struggle, obviously because of its very nature, is in hard soil. Sandy soil's no problem, wet soil's no problem, but when it's hard, say underneath the trees, very difficult to get it in just using the power of your, of your hand and your wrist. I actually still prefer using a spade, and I think that when you dig a bigger hole, the grass has more chance of growing back well in dry conditions. In wet conditions, doesn't really matter, the grass is going to grow no problem at all. But I just wonder how many of the holes that I see being dug with tools similar to this on YouTube in America and Australia in dry places. I often think that the, the little squares that are dug out will just die off in the heat. I don't know though. I still prefer using a spade. But this is a very good tool if you're doing parks. Now, as you can probably gather, I'm not a fan of doing parks and so on. I like to get out into the countryside, way out in the middle of nowhere, deep pasture, and hunt for not ancient history but history going back hundreds of years I'm not really into finding modern stuff 
But that said, don't think I'm bashing parks for a minute. I've got nothing but respect for the people who spend day after day in parks because it is a very difficult terrain to hunt simply because of the amount of trash. I wish I'd never shaved my hair because I think I'm a, a, I'm a skinhead scavenger today. I really I don't like being detecting anywhere where there's other people unless there are other detectorists or farmers or something you know. Um, it's a bit strange but it's ultimately rewarding because I did manage to find maybe it's 10 or 15 quid in loose change and I'll probably find some on the way back. Thanks for watching.